boys and girls i hope you're ready to do your impressionist style flowers you're going to need a piece of paper that you're going to keep portrait in front of you you don't want it landscape or you won't have room for your flowers so keep it portrait and then if you have a black crepa or a crayon that will work or a sharpie just don't use a marker because when you use your watercolor paint that will bleed all over your paper Okay, we're going to start off by making the vase near to the bottom of your paper. We want to keep the top half for the flowers. I'm going to come down just over halfway and make a little dot. You can make a very simple style vase by doing two straight lines down and connecting it. If you want a vase that's a bit more fancy, you can try one with curved lines on the sides. Close the bottom, but we're not gonna close the top yet. Okay, I'm gonna show you three different kinds of flowers that I can do. You can try your own different flowers also. So my very simple flower I'm gonna start with is just a circle with a wavy line around. And I'm gonna do a few of those at the bottom. You notice how my flowers are close together, they're touching, they're almost overlapping each other. Okay, now a second kind of flower I do is a circle, just with very simple petals going round. And again, my flowers are close to each other, they're overlapping. Remember to connect your lines. Okay, the third type of flower I do is start with a circle again and this time the petals go around. It starts there and it's a long petal. The petals overlap each other and they keep going around and around and around. So a circle. You can try any other type of flowers that you know also. I'm sure you have some good ones that you can show me too. Okay, I'm gonna finish with some little small ones at the top. You want your flowers to fill the whole top part of your page and you want them to be overlapping or very close together. Okay, if you want, you can add a, a little leaf somewhere. Maybe a little leaf here. Maybe one there. Okay, then the last thing before I paint, I'm going to add my horizon line or my table line. I'm going to start on one side, stop, come out the other side and stop. If you want to put some design on your vase, you can too. Maybe I'll put some little stripes there and then I'm ready to paint. Now if I was in school I would use tempera paint because it's nice and thick and it would give me that more impressionist look but I only have watercolors here so I'm going to use watercolor and it's still going to look as beautiful. You can use whatever colors of paint or kind of paint that you have. Okay so you'll just start to paint With the oil pastel, remember you could just paint right on top of it. And I'm only going to choose two or three colors for my flowers. I don't want too many colors, but you can make your flowers any color you like. you've painted all your flowers and your leaves 
it's time to paint your background. Choose one color for your background. If you paint it in many different colors, you will not see your flowers. So I'm only gonna choose one color and I'm gonna choose a color that I didn't already use in my flowers. So I don't want to use purple because I have a lot of purple and my flowers won't stand out. I think I'm gonna use this light blue. I think my flowers will really stand out well against that. Remember to keep your brush moving nice and gently. If you go too hard on your paper, you can rip a little hole in it, which you don't want to do after all your hard work making those beautiful flowers. Okay, I'm painting all the space around, but also all this little space in between it's also my background, so don't forget to paint all those little spaces in between. Okay, now I paint my background. I'm going to do my table and then my buzz. So I think I want my buzz to be this very dark blue. And the last thing I'm going to paint is my table. Okay, I hope you had fun making those impressionist star flowers.